I promise I'm not jaded. <laughs> but when it comes to exotics, the price point is so much, so much more higher because obviously you're getting a full panel of an exotic material. You're getting the workmanship, the detail, all that good stuff. So um, when you're hearing a 7,000 price point, it's technically decent because most exotics are a lot, lot, lot more. Hey guys, what's up? I can't smile properly. I legit, I, so I just, I just got back from getting a facial. I went to Skin Farm here in Atlanta and they did this um, golden, I can't remember the name. I should probably have the tech, let me check, let me check my messages real quick so I can get the name for you guys and let you know what I exactly I did. So I got a gold fusion, like legit there was gold in it, kind, facial. And it was like little needles with specks of gold that just kind of go into your skin. And it's supposed to be like medical grade, whatever, really supposed to make your skin just look amazing. And I told her like the only issues I have, cause you all know I really love my skin right now, are just some of my pores are a little, you know, enlarged. So she infused, I think peptide and some other things to kind of add the glow. I'm really bad at like details. Like when people tell me stuff, it goes into one ear. Sometimes it goes out. I listen and I get the full gist, but the details, I have to read it up. But, and I'll link them. But yeah, I just did that. Skin looks really good. It feels good, but it's numb. So I feel weird. So even like talking, my lips hurt a little bit. But anywho, um, I don't even know what like takes. No, I do know. <laughs> Clearly, I'm all over the place. I'm just about to leave the house. I took my braids out, tried to straighten my hair on my own. I can't seem to get my hair straight on my own. I was talking to um, a friend and she was saying that it has to start with the blow dry. Like you have to get your hair like really straight from the blow dry, then go in with your flattening iron. I don't know, we'll see. Nobody has time for that. But anywho, I gotta get it straight because tomorrow I will be shooting some stuff. I'm gonna bring you guys along. It's gonna be a fun, ooh, a fun shopping day at Fendi tomorrow. I might do Cuccinelli as well, but we'll see. I'll definitely bring you guys along. But right now I'm heading to Target. I need to get some, I wanna like update my master suite with, you know, fall and homely stuff and see what I can find. So I'm heading to Target. I'll bring you guys along. I feel like it's been a minute since we've gone shopping. So this haul will be about shopping, about getting stuff for fall. Um, I might not buy anything, but you know, hey, I'll bring you guys along. It's so funny. I, sh I think in the, yeah, in the last video, I showed you guys what I got from J. Crew, and they sent me a box of the exact things, like everything all over again. And I'm like, did they realize, like I had to send them an email that you guys sent me the same things all over again. Um, but I also asked if I can, you know, if they don't want me to send it back, if I can do a giveaway. So I'll keep you guys posted. But also I got this. Um, I'm very anxious to try this. YSL Lib Libra. Never tried that before. They sent that to me. So that's really sweet. I'm going to try that. And I'll let you guys know. Um, what else are we doing? I think that's about it. Actually, I'll share my outfit of the day because it's cute. And then I got to head out because it's getting late and I do not, I hate, I despise traffic. I don't want to be caught in it. So let's share this look and head out. Okay. So this is my look for today. This, um, denim shirt is from Express. I just checked and it's buy one, get one free. But by the time this goes live, I don't know if that's still going to be available, but I'm going to, you know, I'll post, uh, well, by the time this goes live, it would have happened already, but it's a great denim shirt. I've shared this with you guys before in a haul and I hope you guys got it because it's so good. It fits good. It feels good. I'm warm. And then my Puma track pants from the June Ombros collection. June was very gracious to send it to me and I'm obsessed with them. I love them. Then we've got the Jordan Lowe's. Love these with my Banana Republic socks. Brought out my trusty bag. If you guys did not watch the five bags I would keep or I would start all over with video, make sure you watch that. Y'all asked me to do that video and the views on that video were, I think, right under 10,000. And I'm just like, y'all asked for this. And we have like, well, almost 50,000 subscribers. So what's going on? But anywho, if you haven't seen it, check it out because I know the algorithm be algorithming and doing what all the 
horrible things. But yes, this bag was one, if you didn't guess. That's why I brought it up. Then this hat was um, gifted to me by free people. Basically, the whole look, with the exception of the bag, was gifted. And the shoes. I bought the shoes. But yes, this is the look. It's really fun. We've got the glasses. They're super, super old Gucci. I love these. So happy I didn't get rid of them. But yeah, this is my look. And now I gotta head out. guys okay so I just got my lashes done they look really amazing right now and did my nails my nails were so jacked up before so my hair got a little messed up but I think we'll survive it'll be fine um, but yeah heading to the Fendi store actually first of all I have to do a return and then heading to the Fendi store might stop off might stop by Cuccinelli as well but we're gonna explore the new store here in Atlanta at Phipps Plaza it is stunning so yes we're gonna play there for a little bit I I don't know if I'm shopping to be honest there's nothing that I've seen that I feel like oh my god I have to have there is a bag that I want to have a look at so I'm still going back and forth on that. But for the most part, yeah, very minimal to no makeup because I just had a facial yesterday. And I really wanted to see how my skin was faring out with that. So I just did a little powder so I don't look oily. And then, of course, the eyebrows. That's why I love having these lashes because I'm like, you put them on and you're good to go. And then I just did a natural lip. So it does. I don't like that look where if you have like bright lips with minimal to no makeup I just feel like it looks off so and then wearing the my Bottega glasses just so you can see <laughs> my lashes that I paid so much money for but yeah this is the look Details for me. Ay, ay, ay. Guys, say hi to my YouTube fam. <laughs> say what's up. And of course, Layla had to come in on the fun. Okay, so we're going to explore this new beautiful store. Maybe try on one or two things, look at some bags, and just kind of walk you guys through what to expect when shopping at Fendi. <gasps> Stingray. Dude, oh my god. But it's in chocolate, like a burgundy chocolate. Yes. Ay, ay, ay. So how much is the Stingray going for right now? 7200 Oh wow, that's not bad for an exotic. No. Yeah. I promise I'm not jaded. <laughs> <laughs> but when it comes to exotics, the price point is so much, so much more higher because obviously you're getting a full panel of an exotic material, you're getting the workmanship, the detail, all that good stuff. So um, when you're hearing a 7,000 price point, it's technically decent because most exotics are a lot, lot, lot more. Yeah. Like you're sta like about at least a croc is like 30. Yeah. And That's 30,000. That's 25. 25,000? Yeah, that one right there is 25,000. Okay, oh, let me show you a 25,000 one. There you go. Okay, so this beauty right here is Croc. And I've said this before, Fendi's known for their leather. So even at 25,000, actually this is pretty decent in comparison Definitely. to Dior and Chanel. 
and Hermes because Hermes would be for the size for of this Dior is charging at least 40 dollars exactly 000. exactly and you can get it here for 25 exactly and the peekaboo is a classic so this will never go out of style so if you want to splurge come see us come see, <laughs> see Austin and tell him Monica sent you yes, yes. <laughs> Something special. Ooh, she's got the gloves on, so you know it's super special. Oh my! Oh my word! And then the bottom. Oh my! Oh, what? The color flip it so we can get oh, the lettering the right oh way. Oh my god! Yes, there we go. Thank oh you, babes. Oh my gosh! And this is mink. It is. With sterling, is that sterling silver? Yes. Holy smacker jacks. And this is the only size small. They did the fin they did a medium fendigraphy with this handle. This is the only size small they did it with. with oh, this. I'm dying. This special. This is I'm dying. everything. How much is it? No, 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 guess, guess, guess. No, 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 okay, no, yes. okay, let's guess, let's guess. It should be um, It's mink in that size. I'm gonna guess, they want me to guess. Umi said I should guess how much it costs. So in digits. mink. I said five digits. Because it's me, and it's the size. But if it's not five, because you didn't say that, I'm gonna give it like 97. Um, I think it's under 10. Uh, <laughs> I think it's under 10. It has sterling silver handles, so that's added, adding to the cost. And then that green detail. You know, at one point I could have been like, it's this much, and know for sure. But because everything price-wise has gone to Gone to like hell, literally. <laughs> I want to say seven. I don't know. I don't know. Seven keeps on coming to my head. I don't know if it's. I don't. I don't think it should be over ten. Um, I, it is mink, and you guys are known for your fur. We are. So I'm gonna say in that seven to nine price point. Seven to nine. That's a huge price point. <laughs> <laughs> Layer lower it. Make it something. Seven what? Okay, like let's say seven five, seven ninety five, closer to eight. Okay. Who do y'all think is closer? I think I'm it's either that or it's higher. I'm it's close. lower than what both of y'all said. Really? It's lower it's than 65. seven. 65. Okay, so I was close. You were. That's beautiful. I was close. Wow. Seven was what, honestly, seven was the number that yeah. came to mind. And then with, t uh, with taxes. Also, just, because, you know, and, and like I said, because I haven't sold anything in so long, but the prices can't be so far off. And mink is just stunning. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to yeah. share it with you guys again. It's so beautiful. Oh, it feels amazing. I love it. I love it. This is my favorite bag we have in yes. here. Oh, my, my God. My favorite one. It's just, I, I, it's, and this, the fact that it's not. No, the silver is yeah. green. It just pops. And I'm not the biggest silver person, but that sterling silver pops. And then with the green, I love that they did it in green. No, me too. And it was such a, a random color to pick. Yeah. Um, but no, for sure. It's, it's worth every it's, penny. I agree. Yeah. I agree. I tell you this coat is stunning the fur pockets but just the weight the weight it's so lightweight it's oh. the sleeves so the sleeves have us they have a slit on the side so they kind of it gives it a more of a bell detail which is beautiful oh my oh there's the slits too oh my God. There's a subtlety to it. It looks great with the browns, but on its own, it just has a black jacket. Like, it's just 
it's so regal, it's so like, but it's modern. Mm -hmm. They did that. They they did it with that one. Like completely. <laughs> did you even see? Did you see the gray one up there? I do. I want to see that. You I don't, don't want because it's, it's the black. It's, it's the, the black. black. But I was just wondering, did your eyes even like? Because the gray one is out there. But it, it's the exact same have, thing. Mm -hmm, it just has gray and white f's. I wouldn't mind having a look at it. Let's let's have a look at it. All right, I'll follow you. Right here. Oh, oh. Oh, it's got the rag on sleeves too. This is the same price point? I think this one is 72 bucks. I could tell this one's a little bit more expensive because of the detail. Yeah, the finishes. Yeah, I'll try it on. I, I yeah, kind of have a feeling I, I, I'm going to love the black more, but oh, the finish on this. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And then it's belted option. Oh, it's reversible. Oh. Yeah. Okay, let's try it on. <laughs> <laughs> It just feels like money. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Turn around. It's, I love the gray, but it's the black. I do love that that one has the, uh, the FF lining on the inside, though. Oh. There's a subtle seat to this. Ooh. Even with the pockets yeah, that I is. love. It just hangs. It, it like glides. The more I see you in it, the more I like it, too. <laughs> I like to. Uh, you guys see coat. this? A great coat. This is a coat that will forever live in your wardrobe. Like if you have the budget to accommodate a luxury piece or a, a, just a beautiful coat that you can wear, regardless of how you want to wear it or multiple times, pass it down. This is it. Like I said before, Fendi's known for their materials, their leathers, especially their furs. And just the feel of this mink. That alone. Damn. Like, you don't need gloves. Like, your fingers are getting warm. That's it. And there's still the belt option. Exactly. But he even has an overcoat. Is this a size four? Yeah, it is. Okay. Just like, where is she around the world? Like, All right, I found you. Thank you. Look who's talking. Thank you. Oh, it's so good to see nice you. Nice to see you too. How the babies? Oh, they're good. They're like grown. Oh, they're grown up. Yeah, yeah. my son is going to be 14 next month. No, I know. Yeah, I know. And then plus, um, Christmas shopping for Frank. Oh. So I'll always go early. That's smart. Yeah. yeah. You know, I just, I shot something for holiday and I was telling everybody, I'm like, it's not too late. Don't, don't come at me that it's too, uh, sorry, it's not too early. Right. Or gray. I have eyes brown, but nope, I don't have gray. So gray is a great oh, complementary color. Yeah, yes. so look at that. Gray is oh, a great yeah. complementary color. It makes so it pop more yeah. than gray. It just no. elevates other colors. And I, and I like how it cinches your waist. And yeah. I'll pop that cop. Yes. Well, you don't want to do it now for makeup, but right. pop that cop. Yeah, I'll do it around my hair so yeah. that way, yeah. And it has the and, and that pink color scarf. too. That's... That pink scarf. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yes. All right, this is a mood. This is the, what is this room called? The VIC room. The VIC room. So they're making me feel special today. Yes. This is what you expect. When you shop at Fendi at Phipps, you got the oh, first, gorgeous. You got the exotics. The exotic. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay, I have to change the ISO so you guys can see the details on these. Okay, one second. Okay, look at that. Oh. These Crocs are stunning. And there's a blush Croc. You've got. The Iron Snake, or is this lizard? It's lizard. lizard, yeah, no, it's lizard. Oh, wow. It's beautiful. Stunning. How much is the lizard one? That one is 67.50. 67, and then we jump into 25 here? Yes, we do. Oh, wow. Beautiful. And Beautiful. For the people that can never make up their minds, okay. we what have a celery kit <gasps> to make your own Holy. custom. Oh, my oopsie. <laughs> To make your own custom bag. Oh my gosh. I know, right? Here, I'll <laughs> hold it. Out. I'll hold okay. it. Yeah, I'll hold it. So yeah, you can pick the hardware. Oh my gosh. The stamp that goes in the bag. The peekaboo lock. You can get it with your initials. You can get crystals. I love that. 
And what yeah, do they start it. at, like making your own? So it depends. Okay. Obviously, if you're going to get, it depends what size peekaboo and what leather you want. If you want regular cellar real leather, it's obviously going to be less than an exotic like python, okay. ostrich, croc. Mm-hmm. Um, but definitely expect to spend at least 6000 Okay. At that's least. Not, for a custom bag, honestly, I think that's pretty legit, like price wise. For sure. Oh, gosh. Okay, guys, this bodysuit is everything. And this. Uh, it's seven fifty, so I think this is just a gorgeous piece to have. I think I'm gonna try this on because it's stunning. It also comes in white. Do we love? I love this. It's all the marble for me. Oh my gosh. <sighs> I'm tripping over. Yeah. The sleeves are nice and they're fitted. I wouldn't say tight, they're fitted. Pulling a little bit at the bust, I'm wearing a padded bra right now, so I wouldn't recommend wearing a padded bra with this or any of the silhouettes. Um, but even with that, like it's relaxing and it's staying, it's you know, beginning to like just stay in place. <sighs> look at the way it makes my body look. I'm like, ah! Take a few steps back. Okay. Thank you. And then walk into frame. Beautiful. I really wish I did more of that red for this collection. Honestly. Red is so good. And red is such a trend. I know I didn't coin red in like my trend report, but it's so big. And one of the things that whatever I kind of like focus on what's trending, what a lot of brands are offering and uh, so everyone's offering red that's so funny. mind you it's this time of year in fair everybody does a red mm-hmm. you know but they're they've taken it to a different level which i've started to notice so i'm like that's like a part two for the trend report detail oh this could be worn has a like an open jacket too it could oh my god that would look really no, good would look great. with a pair of like just relaxed jeans opened up let that it just hang so cute that's that's an idea. Yeah. That's an idea. Or in the gray or any of the other ones that have the option of being open mm-hmm. because you can just kind of throw it on as a duster. Exactly. That's stunning. Okay, y'all need to get into this blazer. Thirty-two ninety, right? Oh. In silk, it just falls, and then look at the shoulders. It's not really padded, but it's but still it very like square. It yeah. yeah. I love that. I'm gonna try it on too. I keep on fooling myself that I don't have a shoulder injury. <laughs> I still can't reach to the back. Perfect fit. Okay, one more thing to try on. Obsessed. Oh, there's pockets. <sighs> All about functional. Yeah, and I've got that bodysuit under, which feels like a glove. And the sleeves on this are longer, but I pulled them up. Definitely. So yeah. you can just see the details. Look at the details. Oh my gosh, beautiful. I know. <laughs> my editor might have to do a voiceover, just a, um, a random music over it because of um, copyright. Oh, yeah. yeah. But find vibes like this though, because I like yeah. this audio. Yeah, I like that a lot. How much is the dress? Because that's super cute. Oh, it's really cute. Like, I love it. Actually, the most out of everything you tried on, really? this to me has the most versatility. And it has like the brown, the black. Yeah. Even with the shoes and everything, I feel like this is an outfit. Yeah. Like, where are we going? You I gotta need, go all you need to do is try that uh, black jacket back oh, on with it. Uh, and then you'll I'll, cry. I'll, 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 <laughs> and then I'll really cry. The, uh, the dress is 28. That's not bad at all. The silk, so right? Cool. Like. <sighs> Stunning. <laughs> I don't know if this was a good idea. <laughs> Question he asked, do I have a favorite bag? 
other than my very first Chanel because it's a super classic, love it. I think I have to say my absolute favorite, and other than the Kelly because I waited so long to get it, would have to be my Fendi first. Wow. The the red one, the, oh, the marble. The party. Yes. Yeah. Oh my god. That is one of my absolute favorite bags. Yeah. Um, I love it. Every time I wear it, carry it, showstopper. The fact that whenever Derek, I pre-ordered it, uh -huh. so I got it before I saw it. Oh wow. But then I saw the leather option and I hated it, so I returned it. Without seeing it, and Layla was like, "No, you can't yes. return it." You, they're, well, they were like, "Don't." I'm like, "No, it looks like plastic." <laughs> I go to the store the next day after they finally returned it because they refused to return it. Oh my god! So I go to the store the next day to pick something else up, and I'm like, "What the f is that?" They're like, "That's your bag that you just returned." I'm like, "I, I literally bought it back." Oh no, I don't blame you. That I bought it back. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Okay guys, so one of the things I did not mention, which I forgot to mention, is that all the furniture featured is offered for sale. So these beautiful um, chairs or um, seats, <laughs> and then the rug, basically all the furniture here is for sale. So keep that in mind if you feel like furnishing your home in Fendi. <laughs> So it is a few days after my little Target run. I have not been able to do anything. I literally have the bags of all the stuff that I picked up in my washroom. So I'm gonna, this is what my room looks like right now. And I just feel like it's been this way forever, even though it hasn't technically, but I just feel like I need something. I need like a pick me up, I need something fun and something that screams fall. So I picked up a couple of things, as you guys saw me browsing or perusing through Target. Um, I try to stay away from stores because no matter where I go, I just find myself shopping and picking up so much stuff. And I did that at Target. I also ordered some new pillows because I've been struggling. I think I've talked to you guys about this. Um, I struggle with sleeping or finding good pillows that have support. So when I was at LTK Con, I met um, these girls, these sisters sat beside me and they're bargain shoppers and whatnot and they posted about these pillows. So hopefully, I, well I did sleep with them last night and I think that they were okay. I also, I kind of like pile pillows on top of each other, which is not necessarily great for my shoulder, but I'm trying to find support for my shoulder and then I sleep this way. So I don't know. I, I layer. I, I used one on my back, which was very comfortable, but then I piled two for my neck and my head. And I, I, I want to say I slept well, but I'm not sure yet. I think I need to maneuver the pillows a little differently. Then I can determine that. Anyway, we're going to do the quick haul of what I got because I don't think I showed you guys what I got. I think I was just like piling things in. I'll show you guys what I got and then I'm going to switch up the room and hopefully we love it because that means if I don't, I have to take everything back and Nobody has time for that. Anyhow, let's get into it. Okay, so I got a lot. <laughs> Let me see if I could get you guys to see everything. So these are all the bags and there's another like um, bucket thingy there. I don't know if you can see that in the viewfinder, but I will open everything up and share. And then I'm gonna rearrange the room. So I got a lot of throw pillows. I think, well not I think, I know. The best way to update your space, the most cost-effective way, if you're someone like me that you like new and you like walking into new spaces and you want your home or your spaces to feel like a hotel almost, um, the best way to update and give that newness is with little accessories. So throw pillows, candles, um, throw blankets, because I personally don't want to change my bed every season, no. Most people don't, nor do I want to change my carpet every season or the plants or, you know, all the bigger things. But it's with the little things like sheets and throws and comforters and little accessories. That's that's a great way to kind of update your space and look, make it look very new and inviting without spending a ton of money. Um, I did spend a lot at Target, but in hindsight, if I was picking up 
half of these things from my favorite store, CB2 or West Elm. It would have cost me a fortune, but everything I got from Target came up to about seven, 750. And that's multiple throw pillows, blankets, sheet sets, candles, ornaments. So, you know, you really get a lot more for your buck. Um, so these are some shams. I went in, I went with more brown fam, um, colors. I don't have sheets or anything in the brown warm color way. I tend to always go for grays or white. So this will be new for me. Um, this one, I think this is more of a linen. So it's, no, this is woven with a hundred percent cotton texture. So I do like texture. I feel like there's something about texture that just looks or just works basically personally with my aesthetic. Um, and then also it's just easier to maintain. I won't lie, I am I am that type of person that I love a clean space. I love a beautiful home. I wanna walk into my home and see a pin fall down, but I hate cleaning with a passion. And not necessarily that I hate cleaning, I just don't have the time. I feel like I'm constantly on the go, constantly tired. Social media has a job, is 24 seven. You know, Some people, especially here on YouTube, they've made comments that, you know, how do you afford everything you have? You don't have that many followers on YouTube, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, I've only been on YouTube like consistently for the last two years, but I've been doing this for 11 years and people don't take that into account that at least until you do your research, don't, don't just make assumptions about people. You don't know what I've done. And I'm like, I'm 44. <laughs> I've been around for a long time. I've done a lot of different things. Um, but yes, social media has a job is time consuming, you know, this idea of like, you know, you're going to be an entrepreneur, you're going to have your own business. You'll have time for things for yourself or not when you're in social media, because YouTube on its own is a full-time job, but not only do we, do I run YouTube, but I have Instagram, which has always been my bread and butter. And then I still have my website on by Monica.com, which is where all of this started. And then there's the LTK app, which on its own is its own full shopping experience. If you guys are not following me on the LTK app, make sure you follow me, especially the people that consume my shorts links to everything. It's there. It's always on the LTK app. And there's other affiliate apps too. There's magic links, there's shop style, and everybody wants you to you know, use their platforms and create content on their platforms. And there's TikTok, which is a 24 seven, you know, ordeal. <laughs> I said ordeal because it feels that way sometimes. Um, but yeah, I think a lot of people forget that this is a 24 seven job and they just make silly assumptions. Anywho, I digress. So we got some shams in this beautiful colorway. Um, I got this fun blanket to match. So same idea, I really like this. The color is really, really beautiful. Funny enough, I did work with um, Target. This is not sponsored by the way, this is my own money. But I did work with Target, I think about two or three years ago, maybe two years ago, um, because I was in this house. And I partnered with them on this line. So I have stuff from this Costalona line. It's really, really good. Very good and it wears very well. It's very um, comparable to my Banana Republic sheets, so all my expensive sheets. So this is a good, a good brand. And of course I'll link everything for you guys. <laughs> um, what else? I think this is a sheet set. What is this? I bought, okay, so this is the linen, um, linen blend duvet cover set. So that should be interesting. I hate, hate with a passion putting on linen cover, or sorry, um, duvet covers, but you know, it's needed. Another big throw pillow. I figured this will look really good against my other brown and white Aztec kind of Banana Republic throw pillow. So I got this one as well. What else do we have here? Because I don't want everything to be overly matchy. I did, um, this sheet set. It's, um, temperature balancing sheet set. So let's hope that works because yeah, and it's slightly off-white, so it's not white-ish, so, but it's more of a ivory. And it's getting really dark in my room, and I don't want to turn the lights on because the lights are more yellow. The, well, the light is more of a yellow light. But anyway, we'll get through this real quick, and then I'll share the room, and then, yeah, I think we'll end the vlog here. How fun was shopping at Fendi, eh? <laughs> Gosh, now they have me thinking about everything. Anyway, this is another throw pillow. Like I said, throw pillows are a great way to add interest. I love that detail and the color is very similar to the sheet set. So that should look good, hopefully. 
I love this waffle knit blanket. Gosh, this one's hard to bring out. Well, I gotta take it out. So this one looks fun. Also kind of working in that same brown color way. So that should be interesting. And then the accessories. Well, this wasn't from Target. This was gifted to me by a brand, Hotel Lobby. Um, the agency that I used to be with, they uh, I met the girl. She's also an influencer. This is her candle brand. I just love the way they package. Funny enough, her husband is the one who suggested these glasses, the Jacques Marie Maj. I know someone's gonna ask about them. They're old, they only make a hundred of each. He sold me on it, like, and we were just we were all shopping together, and he was like, No, this brand is everything. And I was telling him how my husband Bo loves you know, he wears glasses, so he's very much into it. So he's like, yeah, get him on it. And Bo has been, you know, stocking up on them. My other green glasses that you guys love, also from Jacques Marimage, but yeah, this is their brand, um, Hotel Lobby, the packaging, excellent, love their collection. And this is one of their holiday candles, so I will link that as well. So we've got, I've got this little tray. I thought this would be fun to put on um, one of the dressers or something, so that should be fun. I have an idea for it. This is when you know sometimes you just shop because of shopping, and then I think it's that the interior decorator in me <laughs> was like, oh, just pick it up, because you might have a purpose for it. So I got this, it's like, I think it's like a radio, an old school radio. It might not work, but I feel like I can make it work. So we're gonna see where we can place this beauty. And then, last but not least, I got a whole bunch of candles. Honestly, I had no business buying any candles because we have so many candles in this house, candles that were gifted, candles that my husband bought, but I still wanted, you know, I just wanted something different. So I got these little brown ones to kind of go with the idea of what's going on. And I thought these green ones, I just, I love the way this looked. This might not work, but I feel like it could. It could really look good against the greens in the room and bring more of that. And then I'll also change the um, picture art or the art on my TV because I have one of those um, picture frame TVs. So I think I'm gonna change the art on that. So to have a little bit more brown and green. So yeah. Oh, one more thing, a basket. Honestly, I probably will have to return this basket because when we first of all got this place, I bought so many baskets. I have metal baskets, I have wicker baskets. <laughs> and my husband's like, either get rid of it or get it out. And I haven't been able to get rid of anything. So we're definitely getting to a point where even when I came home with all this Target stuff, everybody looked at me, including my kids, like, mommy, have you lost your mind? Like, where in God's name are we putting all this? So my my job this weekend is coming up. Ooh. That made a heavier noise than I thought. Anywho, yeah, that's what we're doing, yes. I wanna bring you guys off the tripod for a second because I feel like this angle, even though you get to see the room, it's making me look dark and I want you guys to see my skin <laughs> after the facial that I did. Let's get you guys to natural light. So that's the art. Okay, see, this is better. Uh, maybe if I open the windows more, there you go. I did want you guys to see my skin right now. Mm. Mind you, so even though my the facial that I got, I don't, I think I told you guys about this. I, I think I did. So I went to Skin Farm. They invited me to come in to get a facial, which was much needed because it was on the day on Sita's birthday. For those of you guys who don't know, one of my really good friends, Sita, passed away. I talk more about it on um, Instagram, and her birthday was the seventeenth, and that was the day I was like, you know what? That day's gonna be a little hard, so let me book the facial and whatever. So I did that. I'm still in a really big funk. I'm really faking it, <laughs> if I'm being honest. I'm really faking it, but the show must go on. I have to submit this video clips to my editor so they can get it done. And I also have to either, you know, do something about all that stuff. Either I take it back or I or we keep it. So I figured let me just put on a brave face for y'all. But I do have to say, loving the skin, mind you. Y'all, why was this facial $1,100? I'm like, is that how much they cost? I guess I'm very jaded. <laughs> or I don't know, or not jaded, but I guess I'm not aware of what people charge for, for these things because I get so much free stuff sent my way. And even the last time I did a facial, I, I don't remember the last time I did a facial or I think the last time I did do one, it was gifted as well. 
but it was some it's it was a gold infused facial where there was little like she showed me there's little literally like gold like flick flicks or something in the needles i i don't th i didn't vlog it but i have like um instagram or like cell phone clips i'll, I'll try and insert them but she, and she said your skin is gonna look like glass not that my skin was because they all were like oh your skin you've got great skin i was like yes i know i have great skin i've been using really great products and i shared all the products and some of the brands that send me stuff on a regular that i i, I use which I've shared with you guys. Let me know if you guys want me to update it now that the seasons are changing. I will be updating it on Instagram, but if you want me to do that here, I can include that in the next vlog. But yeah, they were like, this will make your skin look like glass, blah, blah, blah. I have to say, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I did my lashes. I think I shared that with you guys, but nothing, there's no makeup on my face. Okay. Let's, let's get this room done. Okay, so I'm finally done. <laughs> um, and I absolutely love it. So my kids just came home from school and they're like, oh my God, mommy, we, I love it. I love that it's fall, it's warm because I've never, I've always kind of done cool colors. So I'm gonna step back so you guys can see it and then I'll just kind of walk you guys through. But I really love it. It's making me happy. <laughs> All right, let me show you guys. Pretty, right? Just the little changes. Okay, I'm gonna take you guys off the tripod and go over all the details. Okay, so we'll start over here. That little bowl that I got, I figured, you know what? I can just put remotes in there. And I really love that. I can't remember the prices for everything, but I will have all the everything listed in um, the description box. But super fun, right? And then I originally had a book opened up on the counter. So I closed the book. And then I took the other book, which was that pink one. It was on the, the stool. And then I just closed them up and put them on top of each other. This is from, I think this is from Crate and Barrel, either Crate and Barrel, more than likely Crate and Barrel. And I really love it. It's just a fun little wood elephant statue. And then I think these are also from, either from um, Crate and Barrel or CB2. But I love the way it looks. It's just simple, it's clean. And then I switched up the art on my picture frame TV. It's a Samsung, I will link it as well. Um, we also are subscribed to the art gallery, so I can change it pretty often. So this is really fun for me. It's giving me fall, but it's abstract art. It's really interesting. I feel like it's a great conversation piece, even though it's just me and my husband in here. So we're not really talking about the art, but it's just visually pleasing to me. And it's got all the right colors. It's got the browns, it's got the greens, it's very rich and I really love it. And then here, oh my God, this smells so good. Like the room smells like Christmas right now and I love that. And then I'm still not sure about this little contraption um, radio box thingy, but visually it looks really good, but I'm not sure. I don't know, you guys let me know if you think I should keep that or not. I am really not sure about that. But I do kind of like the way it looks because it's brown and it's there's something homely about it and holiday ish that it's giving. And I really love that. The big pillow is from Banana Republic. They sent me when they launched their home collection, they sent me um, a couple things from the collection. And that pillow is one of the items that I picked. But I'm just keeping it on the chair because it didn't look so good on the bed. And then here, this basket, and the chair too is old from West Elm. Remember, we, were ju we just did accessories, we didn't do the big stuff. So that's why I'm pointing this out because it is old from CB2, the basket, and then the blankets are, I can't remember, Brooklyn, and I think I did a collaboration with Brooklyn in a while ago, and the other blanket is from another brand that sent it to me. And then, I don't know if you guys noticed, over here we have a, um, what is it called? It's for, oh gosh, it's, <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. Oh my God, I'm tongue tied. Like a diffuser or something. So I didn't like the way it looked on its own. So I put it in that brown basket. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm tongue tied and tired. And then this is just some of the candles. They also smell really good. They look really good there. I think, I, yeah, I really like them. They just, you know, I just have them in pairs of two, the brown with the green. And I feel like the green adds a richness to it that I really love. 
And I did the same thing on this side, nothing special, just the two candles. Um, and now the sheets, that's really the, the, you know, the thing that makes the difference in the space. And it really does, like, it legit transforms the room. The room feels not just like a cool hotel, but hotel room, but it feels very warm. And I really love that. I don't know what took me so long to get browns. So, okay, first of all, this waffle blanket looks amazing. It's very, it feels very cozy. Um, the duvet cover is linen blend, but on the inside it has like more of a set, not, not set scene per se, but a softer finish. Let me see if I can find an opening. Yeah, so it has a softer finish, which is great because that that's really what touches the body. But we also have this blanket because sometimes I get really hot and my husband doesn't. Actually, I get, I get really cold. My limbs get cold. I'm anemic and he doesn't. So this would be one that we both use regardless of the temperature outside. And he might not necessarily use the duvet. So this is a great like waffle finish. And I love the lighter colors. So that's why I introduced these other lighter color pillows to kind of, you know, go with that. Um, this was matching um, sham. I just put a regular pillow in it um, until I'm sure that I love it. So I love it. I need to make sure my husband loves it and then we keep it. So I still have like the tags on them until we're hundred percent sure. But another pillow in that light, you know, detail with the brown details in there, just kind of throw everything in. And the sham colors, the sheets, the sheets feel really good. They feel really good. This looks good guys. What do you think? Is this a winner? Do I keep everything? Mind you, like I said, the prices are amazing. Amazing, Target really came through. Um, there was one other thing that I did get from Target. I'm gonna share that with you. But let me know if you guys think the brown is a winner, if I should keep, um, and if I should keep this bad boy here. Do we, want, do we need a radio? <laughs> that's the question. So there's one more thing that's in the washroom that I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, so this was the last thing. This was the original um, bathroom caddy or, tray I'm, i can't remember what it's called at this point my mind is very fog fog, fog. <laughs> see i'm tongue tied i can't even talk anywho that was the original one this was some japanese wood that i got off of amazon actually cost me a lot of money um but i love it you know i've had it for since we moved here so at least two three years hence the need to change it up i found this one which was kind of fun and to be honest i really don't take baths so it's just really more of a visual <laughs> um i don't know which guys, what do you guys prefer? Should I keep it with the light wool, wood? Let me put that down. Should I keep the light wood or should I do the dark wood? This is another um, hotel collection candle that they sent to me. Um, but yeah, and then most of the wood that I have here is actually darker, which matches better with the dark wood. So maybe, maybe that's what I need to do. Hmm. Hmm. What do y'all think? Oh yeah, yeah. All right guys, so that's everything. I legit wish you guys could be in this space right now so you can smell how good the room smells. The combination of those, the green candle from Target and the brown one and then the hotel lobby one. My room smells so good and I love it. I'm like freaking out how, I just wanna jump in bed. That's how I feel. But thank you for watching. Um, thank you for coming along. We went shopping at Fendi. I think I'm going to get that coat. I don't know. I've been going back and forth and I haven't been able to get it out of my head. <laughs> um, so I might just get that one coat and that's my coat for the rest of the year, actually the, the whole season, because I don't, I don't need coats. I have a closet full of coats, but nothing like that. So I don't know, help me decide, let me know. It costs, it's a very expensive. Uh, my assistant was like, just sell a bag or two. And I'm like, you're right. Cause I have so many bags that I'm supposed to sell that I said I was gonna sell, I haven't done them yet. So I might just do that to justify it. <laughs> um, and yeah, what else do we do? That's about it that I can think of right now off the top of my head. It's clearly it's time for me to end this vlog. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.